Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I'll be testing the new Showmark streaming service. All right, let's get into it. Showmax is a streaming service from South Africa aimed at users in Africa with smartphones, computers, smart TVs, and other internet devices. Showmax is owned by MultiChoice, the parent company that runs DSTV, a satellite pay TV company most people are familiar with in Africa. Now, I personally don't have a DSTV installation, so I thought Showmax would be a great alternative for watching African TV shows and movies, and most importantly, sports via the internet. Showmax has been around since 2015, but just last month, it announced a relaunch partnering with major US-based content providers such as Comcast's NBC Universal. You know the guys behind Peacock, a major streaming service in the US. The brand new app went live last month in Feb 2024 with a new sports plan called Showmax Premier League that gives subscribers live stream access to all Premier League games courtesy of Supersport but only on mobile devices. The other packages include Showmax Entertainment, available on up to five devices with two concurrent streams, providing access to all local and international TV series, movies, documentaries, and kids shows on the Showmax catalog. Finally, you have the Showmax Entertainment Mobile, which includes access to the same entertainment catalog, but only on one mobile device with one stream. Unlike other streaming services such as Netflix that enable you to consume content everywhere irrespective of the platform or the device, Showmax has decided to segment its plans by device access. So anyways, I opted for the plan that enables me to watch entertainment across all devices plus the English Premier League on mobile. This goes for 24,000 Uganda shillings since I am from Uganda. If you have noticed, Showmax shows prices in local currency for the respective countries they support, which is very nice. The thing that surprised me is that you can only create an account from the Showmax website and not on the mobile app, even if you intend to use the app on your phone only. The other surprise for me was the payment method. Now living in Uganda and given the popularity of mobile money, I naturally expected this to be supported. But to my complete surprise, it isn't. You will have to pay using Visa credit or debit card. If you live in Kenya, however, you can use M-Pesa as a payment method. So instead of using my bank Visa card, I instead opted to pay using a virtual USD card, which I created using Eversend. Eversend is a multi-currency app that offers cross-border money transfers, including intra-Africa transfers and transfers from Africa to the rest of the world. I typically use my Eversend virtual card to pay for several online services such as Netflix, Facebook ads, Google Storage, and others. And now I use it to pay for Showmax. So after I signed up and made the payment, I was able to test out the all new Showmax across various devices and platforms. This app worked very well on my iPhone as well as my Android phone. Since sports is available only on mobile, I had no choice but to have the app installed across all my mobile devices. Now, Showmax has smart TV apps on Samsung, LG, Hisense, and Android TV-based smart TVs. But when I tried downloading Showmax on my Samsung Smart TV, I got an old version which refused to work. So I resorted to using my Google Chromecast, a Google TV streaming device, to download Showmax. This one worked just fine. However, the Smart TV app version does not support sports or the English Premier League. So I tried to mirror my phone to the TV in the hopes of taking advantage of the big real estate that comes with a TV display. To my complete surprise, this didn't work on either Android or iPhone. Showmax had decided to block any kind of screen mirroring, mirror casting, or airplay from mobile devices to a smart TV. When I tried to mirror from my Redmi Note 12 to the Roku TCL TV, it displayed an error message that said screen mirroring is not allowed on Showmax. On my iPhone to the Roku TCL TV, 
AirPlay did work as it showed my iPhone screen and even the Showmax interface on the big screen. But upon playing some content, the TV could only output audio and not video content. So it's obvious that MultiChoice, Showmax's parent company, which also owns DSTV, the satellite pay TV provider, doesn't want to create conflict between its products. So if you must watch the big games on a big screen TV, you have to again subscribe to the DSTV package with the English Premier League. Even the DSTV stream app won't save you because you need a satellite pay TV subscription. So for users who are just interested in sports and don't want to or can't subscribe to satellite pay TV, multi-choice just doesn't have a good solution. Which brings me to question the real point of the relaunch in the first place. For now though, I'm streaming Showmax on my mobile devices for the sports and on my TV for TV shows and movies. Now, I won't delve much into the content catalog. For that, you can always browse their originals on their website. Showmax has a wide collection of African-centric local content than any other streaming service such as Netflix, Disney, Hulu, and so forth. That has won them the crown of the most popular streaming service in Africa, surpassing Netflix. Alright guys, that concludes our video on getting started with the new Showmax. If you found value in this video, go ahead and give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon so you get notified of future tech videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.